morning and thanks for being here today. Um, as mayor of our city, I, I can tell you it makes me proud that our community comes across and comes together from all sectors uh, of the community to work together to make uh, life better for all of our citizens. We all know that a diverse, strong economy is what we want our city to have so we can thrive and grow. A strong economy is more than attracting new businesses and creating new jobs. It begins with a high quality education system that starts with early childhood education. A prepared workforce is critical to economic development, we know that. To have a prepared workforce, we can't begin when a person is in high school or when they're about to begin college. That preparation has to begin at birth. According to an Annie Casey Foundation study, it's estimated that for every student that drops out of high school, it costs taxpayers $260,000 in lost wages, taxes, and productivity. And according to the 2010 census data, uh, only 14.5% of Vandenberg County residents over 25 have a bachelor's <coughs> degree. According to the Department of Labor, the median weekly earning for a person with a bachelor's degree is $415 more than a high school graduate, and $602 more than a person with less than a high school diploma. We have a strong foundation in place to be a leader in early childhood education and rewrite the future of our youngest citizens. The Early Childhood Development Co Coalition that started in 2006 with the United Way, Welburn Baptist Foundation, the, e the EVSC, and the City of Evansville, and 60 other organizations to address school readiness. The ECDC's work focuses on developing early literacy skills and transitioning to kin kindergarten and public policy. Paths to qual Quality is a quality rating system for child care centers with 4C and Wellborn Baptist Foundation taking the lead. The Evansville Education Roundtable has also made, the er made early childhood education a top priority. Evansville is often not like the rest of the state. We have an opportunity today to learn from two experts on the economic benefit of early childhood education. It's my hope today that we can leave here with a renewed commitment to make early childhood education a top priority, part of our economic development plan for the community, that we recognize the urgency to do more because our economy depends on it and certainly our kids do. I'd like to see us lead the state in early childhood education and be a role model for other communities. And I'm sure with, and confident with the leaders we have in the room today, we can make that renewed commitment. Again, thanks for being here and thanks for all you're going to do for our young people.